Hello everyone, I welcome you all again to another episode of Folklore and Culture. It's interesting to notice that so many tribal narratives, so many indigenous tales and myths are connected to the mainstream narratives. One such example is of a Bheel narrative. So Bheels are a very interesting tribal community with uh, eclectic, vibrant culture and uh, one of their famous folk dances you might have seen or heard about is Ghumar. Today I am going to narrate a very interesting tale uh, from the Bheel community which is not very well known but extremely fascinating. So the story goes like, years before uh, Ramayana happened, there was a tribal called Shashoka who used to live in the jungles of central India and this person Shashoka was a cannibal. So he used to kill even human beings and eat. So everyone was very fearful about him. Once he met a Rishi, a sage who was meditating. His face was so peaceful and Shashoka was really fascinated that how come this person has so much of peace inside him, so much of calmness uh, around him. So he went to the Rishi and asked him, what do you do for such peace and calm? The Rishi asked that, who are you son? So Shashuka told that he was a cannibal and everyone is so fearful about him um, and nobody likes him. I really want to be the reason for people, ha people's happiness and not uh, a person who people would fear. So the Rishi smiled and said that, okay, so for that you will have to do Penance, this doesn't happen in one day. It takes a long, long time to do the penance and receive this peace and calm in your life. Shashuka was really excited and he said that, yes, I will do that. The Rishi said that you will have to do a lifetime of penance and prayers uh, so that in your next birth, you will be born as a shoka tree and a shoka tree uh, would be the reason of happiness of people. The Rishi said that he would be born as a tree in Lanka where Mata Sita would spend a lot of time um, under the peace and calmness of that tree. She will attain the news of her husband Ram coming to rescue her and Hanuman would sit on the branches of this tree and give this news which will bring a lot of happiness and this Ashoka tree also called Sita Ashok is a medium sized evergreen tree with scarlet flowers that appears in clusters and it is considered sacred by Hindus and Buddhists. It is a very common motif in Hindu iconography and mainstream literature. It also is used for medicinal purpose. So does this story makes us question the inclusivity of our myths and legends? The divide we have constructed in the contemporary society about uh, indigenous people and the mainstream people, isn't that just a myth? Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you have any questions, do reach out to me and do not forget to like, share and subscribe.